It is a featherweight matchup between Max Holloway and Clay Guida. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Nice low single takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. All right, so he postures up. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. We cross the midpoint in round one. Sound strike on the ground. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted, he's been beaten. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Queen is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight up. Round two is underway. That kick blocked by Guida. Nice punch land on the top. That was a thudding leg kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with that kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Body movement defensively slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong. And that has caused frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempt without securing one. 
It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Close guard. Elbow lands there. Nice job, Eichmann. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Guido. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Holloway gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. If this guy doesn't move his head, his knife is about to end. Oh man, that's a nice kick right now. Oh! Who's hurt? Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity.